Hello everybody, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. For today's reading, I'm going to be using the traditional Rider Weight Tarot and I'll pull whatever, from whatever deck of oracle cards I'm feeling called to when we've gone through the tarot cards, which are already pre-shuffled. So, we can begin the reading straight away. Here is the first card. For the Divine Family, we have the Six of Swords. So you're happy to leave something behind. It could be what you've been, rele what you've been releasing. It could be uh, stuff that you've been healing from. It could be really deep patterns that have been going on for many years. You're happy to leave something behind, moving on to something better, taking what you love with you greener pastures, moving forward to better pla places, leaving old habits and patterns, moving forward to calmer waters, it will bring you extreme peace. It could be talking about movement, maybe a trip away, of letting go of toxicity. You're serious about this, you're not going to settle. Your person looks at you, that's the one. Your, 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 your person's everything. Your person may not trust many, but they can be vulnerable with you and only you. Your prayers are being answered. Clarity is coming. Expect forward movement in the current situation. Your love interest is admiring you a lot. They're not only amazed by your gorgeous appearance, but your beautiful soul as well. They never had intention to hurt you and they want to say sorry. You've decided to get rid of everything that doesn't serve you, that makes you unhappy. And you no longer per perpetuate negativity by holding on to baggage. And therefore, this card shows you that putting your past behind you and going to a whole new world of new opportunities is what you're doing now. You no longer have to feel abandoned or rejected. For you look forward to your future and nothing can hurt you right now or ever. Intuitive sensing ba balances logic, sensuality, meaningful connections, clarity, explaining yourself beneficial change. You're moving to something better. It's all good. And for the Divine Masculine we have the happiest card in the deck. We have the Sun. Creative thought illuminates consciousness. Creative thought illuminates conscious awareness with sunny vibes and happiness awakening success. Truth, fire illuminates your path clarity it's a straightforward card this it simply means a time of pure joy and happiness and clarity goodness abounds and life is to be enjoyed let go of worries make the best of this and squeeze every ounce of joy you can out of it count your blessings practice gratitude on the other hand and maybe showing you that everything will be all right regardless of whatever whatever terrible and sad things appear to be happening the universe is present and attentive to you and is taking care of your well-being. Relax. Trust your needs will be more than met. The sun is the brightest light in the sky. Who wouldn't want someone to feel that way about them? You're bringing in a lot of healing, comfort and warmth to your love interest. You're shining bright like the sun and you're radiant. They view you as happy, successful and abundant. There's something about you that's fascinating them and you're definitely on their mind a lot. A breakthrough is near. Things are working in your favour, so don't give up. Don't quit before the miracle. Your manifestation regarding a new beginning. You're very close. Although you may not see your union, it lies ahead. There's unseen work at help. Right? Unseen work at help. Unseen help at work right now. The, the sun often refers to everything being revealed. There are, if there are aspects hidden on your part or with your partner, they will come to light soon. A breakthrough is very close. Your beloved is missing you and can't stop thinking about you. Only their fears are blocking them. You have the power and the strength of the universe backing you in making a choice of what direction to take in the relationship. Rest assured, this sure ain't a card to cause concern in the love department. And rest assured, when you look at the uh, grand scheme of things, there's a beginning to a new relationship or even entering a stage of your current relationship on the horizon. The sun promises new beginnings. 
someone you're very attracted to is ready to take a leap of faith. It seems they battled their fears and a significant inner change has happened to them. They're now trusting their instinct and following their bliss. New beginnings are coming. And for the Union Energies, we have the Ace of Swords. Intellect, marriage of heart and mind, coming back to truth. No confusion about it. Returning to something, solid decision, absolute truth, victory. Clarity, focus only on what you want and go for it. Clear-headed. Take me, I'm yours. If you're, if you're wondering about, um, and will your partner, will your person return to you? The um, Three of Swords is a very strong ind indicator that they will, and they are. And we'll pull a few from the Moonology deck to finish off here. So what additional advice can you give the people watching? There we are, believe in the impossible. A person is coming back. Blue moon. It doesn't have to happen once in a blue moon. It only needs to happen once and be permanent. And then you've got it for all eternity. So the situation is requiring you to have faith. Have faith in your dreams, have faith in your person. Trust your person to go, th go through their bit of the journey, whatever they're going through. And trust that you will come together once more and forever. There we are. We are. The answers you need are coming. Full Moon in Gemini, the Twins, the Lovers card. Believe in the impossible. The answers you need are coming. Yeah, of course. This this journey require. Uh, what the main requirement of this journey is that you have stupendous amounts of faith. Absolutely stupendous amounts, and that's okay. You don't be in that, don't be in too much of a hurry to get quick answers because being in too much of a hurry can block your own intuition. It's okay if there's things that we're not supposed to know right now or things we're not supposed to see right now. Let it be. It's like the divine is holding their hands over your eyes because they got a huge surprise planned for you. The energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon. Yeah, we just had the solstice. Yeah, there is a gaining of momentum. There is a building up of energy. Yeah, I'm not talking about like a huge build up in 3D where you have expectations that this is going to happen and that's going to happen and then you get disappointed. No, it's much more subtle than that. It's much more on the high levels than that. It's much more peaceful than that. Allow the situation, allow the situation to unfold. It's the energy, it's the vibration of harmonious union. It's growing and it's building. So just relax and surrender and allow it to do its thing. Compassion. Oh, we've just jumped from the Moonology to the Archangels. Archangel Zachiel, soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. Yeah, so have compassion for your person while they're going through whatever it is they're going through right now. They need massive amounts of compassion and unconditional love from you. And have that for yourself as well. Above all, have compassion for yourself. Be kind to yourself. Honour yourself. Do what feels good. Don't do anything that don't feel good. Follow your heart. Follow your bliss. 
nurture yourself, be gentle with yourself. Claire Audience, Archangel Zachiel, notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind and from other people. So it's a reference to the full moon in Gemini card. Now don't try and force your intuition to give you the answers that you want right now. Just allow, trust the process, relax, surrender, go with the flow and your intuition will give you the answers that you need at just the right time that you need them naturally and easily and effortlessly. There's one more from the Moonology card, the Moonology deck. Luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. Well, you're not lucky, you're loved. So you will have everything that you desire. You will have all your wildest dreams come true because you are so loved by the divine. It's okay to acknowledge how loved you are. It's very easy to think that one's not loved enough to receive all their good, to receive everything that they dream of. But you are, you so are. So just, just rest assured and know that and relax, sleep easy and enjoy yourself as you get closer and closer to your dreams and relax and enjoy yourself until you get there. Right, I think I'm going to leave that there. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and I will, I'm very much looking forward to seeing you for the next reading. Bye bye.